Summary of the Lady or the Tiger by Frank Stockton Once upon a time, there was a semi-barbaric king. He was a creative man with a strong grip on his country. This king got the idea to build a large public arena from his faraway Latin neighbors, but he had his own plan for the arena, he would hold trials there based on a barbaric idea of poetic justice, in which the accused would be forced to open one of two doors inside the arena itself based on impartial and incorruptible chance. One door led to a reward, a nice girl that the accused had to marry, whether he liked her or not. The other was punished by a fierce tiger that always killed the person who did it. No one could say that this justice system was unfair because the person being tried chose which door to open. Also, the cases always pleased and entertained the people who came to watch them. Now, the king had a daughter named the princess. She was just as intense and bossy as her father. She fell in love with a courtier, the young man, even though the courtier was lower on the social ladder than the princess. Their relationship was happy, at least until the king found out. He sent the young man to jail and put him on trial in the arena because he wanted to be like someone who was so much better than him. The king didn't care if the young man opened the door to the lady or the tiger. In either case, he would be out of the picture either through marriage or death, and the king would still enjoy the trial. The young man's day in court came. He was led out into the arena and had to choose between the two doors. But when he looked up and saw the princess watching him, he knew right away that his lover had figured out which door led to which fate, which was what he had expected. In fact, no one before the princess, not even the king, had used gold and willpower to find out this secret. And knowing this, the princess told the young man to go to the door on the right. But did that door lead to the lady or the tiger? After all, the princess had been worrying about this moment for days. She was heartbroken at the thought of her lover being killed by the tiger, bleeding and screaming on the arena floor. She was also furious that the young man would marry another woman, especially since she knew who had been chosen for him and hated her for flirting with the young man in the past. The storyteller doesn't try to tell us what choice the princess made and asks us one last time, which came out of the open door, the lady or the tiger. About the author. Stockton was born in Philadelphia in 1834. His father was a well-known Methodist minister who tried to discourage him from becoming a writer, but he showed skill at a young age. He was a student at Philadelphia's Central High School when he wrote a story that won a prize and was published in the Boys and Girls Journal. Frank started working as a wood engraver in 1852, even though his father thought he should become a doctor. During the 1850s, he also published short stories in literary magazines like The American Courier and The Southern Literary Magazine. He got married to Marion Edwards Tuttle in 1860, and the two of them went to Nutley, New Jersey. As the need for wood carving fell, Frank also started writing for Philadelphia newspapers as a paid job. But it wasn't until 1867 that his writing career really took off. That was when he released Ting a Ling, his first story that got a lot of attention. Because of this, Hearth and Home magazine offered him a prominent job as assistant editor and top contributor for the children's section. Frank's artistic vision continued to grow, which led to the release of Rudder Grange, a collection of short stories that was Stockton's first big hit, in 1879, and The Lady or the Tiger, his most famous story, in 1882. Stockton died of a brain hemorrhage in 1902, at the peak of his skills and fame as one of the best humorists and children's writers of his time. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.